and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, you will be learning some vocabulary. The words are related to buildings and houses. Let's get started. The first word is hut. We usually see huts in villages. They are made of thatched roofs, they are made of mud and they look really small and they look beautiful also in the countryside. And the second word is apartment. Well, apartment is a block of flats. We also call it as a flat, but in an apartment you find many, many flats, many houses inside. And the third one is a bungalow. A bungalow is a very beautiful house, a big house which has got all the amenities. It can have a garden, a garage and it has only the ground floor. It doesn't have more than one floor. And the next one is a cottage. A cottage is a small house in the countryside. And the next one is villa. A villa is a luxurious house. It is very, very beautiful and it has got all the facilities, even sometimes a swimming pool. Some people build it in the city also. And the next one is a farmhouse. What is a farmhouse? Some people have farms in the villages and they have their houses just next to the farm. This is called a farmhouse. The next type of house is called a row house or a terraced house. A row house is a house which has got three houses in a row, three or four houses of similar structure. The same type of houses all in a row. It's also called a terraced house. The next one is a mansion. A mansion is a very large house where really rich people live. And uh, it's very beautiful. It's got lots of rooms and it's constructed in a very beautiful manner. The next one is a duplex house. What's a duplex house? A duplex house is a house where there are there is a ground floor and the first floor and you go into the ground floor and you have stairs inside the house to go to the first floor. So the same house has got two parts upstairs and downstairs. This is a duplex house and it's very popular these days. The next one is an igloo. What is an igloo? Well, igloo is a house made of ice blocks. Usually in very, very cold regions like the polar regions, we see igloos made of ice blocks. And the wonder is that they don't melt. And the next one is the stilt house. What is a stilt? Stilt is nothing but a stick. So there are some stilts, some sticks that support the house. It is built on a higher level and the idea is to uh, prevent damage from water. So when you build stilt house, water cannot enter the house. That's the idea. And the next one is a caravan. A caravan is a movable house. People travel. There are some uh, nomads. There are some people who do not have permanent houses. They travel in caravans. Some people even go for camps in caravans. The next one is the houseboat. If you uh, go to Kashmir or Kerala, you will be able to see uh, houseboats. Houseboats are those houses that are like boats and they are on water. They float on the water. They have all the facilities that we have in a house. People stay in a houseboat when they go for a holiday. So it's quite interesting, isn't it? And the next one is a chawl. In places like Mumbai, where the space is very restricted, Lim we have limited space. There are some houses, many, many houses, very small houses in a big building. There are small portions, just one room houses. And these houses are called chawls. Many people live there, many families live there, and the rent is very, very low. And these kind of houses, which are usually very crowded with lots of people. We can find chawls in Mumbai, in cities like Mumbai. And the next one is a palace. All of us know what a palace is. A palace is a place where kings and queens used to live. And even now you can see the Mysore palace. You can go to Mysore if you want to see a palace. There are palaces in many states of India where kings and queens 
used to live. And the next one is a tent. Tent is a house that is made with cloth or canvas, some kind of cloth, thick cloth like canvas. It is usually used by people who want to camp for some days in a place or soldiers also put up some tents in order to stay when they go to a particular area. So it is mainly a place to stay for some time. So it's a temporary house. And the next one is a castle. What is a castle? Castle is a very strong building. Earlier even kings and queens used to build castles and they're all fortified. Fortified means they're all strong buildings, strengthened buildings. Nobody can enter a castle. And the next one is a tower. A tower is a tall building. A tower is a tall building and it can be part of a church also. And the next one is a skyscraper. Again, if you were to Mumbai, if you visit Mumbai, you will see lots of sky, skyscrapers. Skyscrapers are high-rise buildings. You can see skyscrapers in other countries too, where there are more than 20 or 30 floors, even as many as uh, 120 floors, an apartment having so many floors. So these type of apartments which have very very many floors uh, are called uh, skyscrapers or high-rise buildings and the next one is a tiled house uh, tiled house also can be seen in some towns small towns and villages where the roof is made of red colored tiles and the next one is a tree house it's very interesting to know that tree houses are built in the branches of a tree and it's usually used for entertainment or for children to stay and play. So uh, it's interesting, tree house. And the next one is a pagoda. What is a pagoda? Pagoda is a building which is used to uh, keep a god or goddess. It's usually a temple of the Hindus and the Buddhists. Usually a building to have some uh, religious, for a religious purpose. So pagoda. And uh, next one is isba. What is an isba? Isba is something like a hut. It's also a countryside dwelling, a countryside house. And the next one is tipi. What is a tipi? Tipi is a conical shaped, a cone shaped tent, a cone shaped tent. And it's very interesting because it is made of animal skin. It's made of animal skin. We don't see teepees in India, but elsewhere in the world, we do see teepees. And the next one is a wooden house. In some countries, they make houses of wood. Wooden houses are very good because they prevent damage to the house during earthquakes. You will find wooden houses in many parts of the world. Wherever there are many earthquakes, they have wooden houses and uh, wooden houses are very strong. They can withstand a lot of uh, damage. They can prevent damage to the entire house. If you have a cement house or a brick house like we have, an earthquake, earthquake can damage it, but a wooden house doesn't get damaged. And the next one is a wattle daub house. What is a wattle daub house? It's a house that is made of uh, clay uh, and other materials like sand, soil and so on. And the last type of building or house we are going to talk about is cob house. Cob house is all made of natural materials. Natural materials like soil, sand, very beautifully constructed. It's a small cute house. So we have learnt many words related to buildings and houses. So the next time you see a house, you'll be able to recognize the type of house it is. And you will also know what it is made of and how it looks like. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and we'll come back with lots more very soon. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. And don't forget to give us your valuable suggestions and feedback so that we can give you lots more. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.